Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing good. I feel like this is a bit of a random start to the video. I'm just in the midst of curling my hair. I'm getting ready to head out today. I've been sort of trying to get into the habit of having these little days to myself. I made a TikTok on it the other day and I'm just trying to have a day in the week or at least every two weeks where I get myself up, I do my hair, I put a bit of makeup on, I put some clothes on that aren't baggy jumpers and joggers and my slippers basically all the comfies and I just head out for the day like whether I've just got like some little jobs to do or I need to pop to the shops or I want to head out and film some content and see what's in B&M at the moment or like my favourite shops like TK Maxx and stuff like that just like making that effort because I've sort of been feeling like since working from home and working for myself and stuff I'm living in no makeup the biggest baggiest comfiest clothes my slippers like some days i don't even leave the house like obviously i've started the gym again which is great because that means that i'm leaving the house i'm getting some steps in i'm doing some exercise and it boosts your mental health like you would not believe but my confidence has shrunk like it's non-existent now and i sort of feel like we're getting a bit deep here but i sort of feel like i've lost a bit of myself because I don't know if it's come from lockdown either I'd be curious to know if anyone else feels the same but I just feel like I've lost a part of myself like I used to absolutely love getting all dressed up and doing my hair and doing my makeup and wearing all these nice clothes and I've just sort of fallen into that trap of like not wanting to put makeup on not wanting to get ready like and don't get me wrong I absolutely love you know being fresh face no makeup on all the biggie big baggy comfy clothes like I absolutely love that that is me but there's also another side to me that does like getting ready obviously and like doing my hair and making a bit of effort and I'm just trying to get into that routine of having this day within the week or the two weeks as I say of just getting into the habit of getting ready you know even if I'm just popping to the shops like just getting in that routine of like putting a bit of makeup on and it's just nice to like look in the mirror and not be like bare-faced and in my comfy clothes and just chilling like sometimes it just it just does things for your confidence I think so I'm gonna have one of those days today I need to pick up a few bits because I'm actually filming another video today and that is a huge bathroom organize I say huge I don't think it's gonna be massive because it is just our ensuite that I am organizing today but I have mentioned in a previous video that I'm getting sent more like skincare, toiletry, like body care, all the bits that I absolutely love and I'm so beyond grateful for and like still in shock that I get sent these amazing products and I want to keep them all and try them all because I absolutely love my skincare. I love like pampering myself and having like a self-care evening. It's like one of my favourite things ever and I just don't have the storage for it and the storage that I have used for those type of bits is just like so cluttered so messy so unorganized I tend to like forget what I actually have in there like whether I've bought it or whether I've been sent it so I really want to get like an organized like area and space that I can keep all that stuff and of an evening where I am sort of having a pamper and that I can go and I know what I've got and I can try out new bits and it's just really organized and easy for me to access so I need to pick up like a set of drawers or some sort of like piece of furniture or something that I can just organize everything like have a hair care drawer have a skincare drawer have like a body care drawer um and I'm thinking of getting like just a little set of drawers that can go in our ensuite because at the moment as well stuff's everywhere stuff's in here our dressing room stuff's in this like towel cupboard that we have like airing cupboard type thing upstairs and that airing cupboard is an absolute mess so what i'd like to do ideally is free up some space in there and just have a move around just have a dig around but i'm going to include that in another video but i thought i would bring you guys with me today to just have a bit of a chill day get some bits done um head out to the shops i think i might go to like a retail park that's got like a TK Maxx I think it's got like a Matalan home which can be a bit hit and miss but sometimes there's some good bits in there they do really good storage bits so I'm thinking of going there to see if I can pick up a set of drawers um what else is there I think there's like a home bargains I'm not too sure though there's a next home um so yeah we can just have a little mooch together a little chill just a little a little casual day together I thought I'd just pick up the camera and bring you guys along with me because I want to start filming more YouTube videos 
and I feel like that sort of helps my little routine of getting up, doing my hair and putting a bit of makeup on and making a little bit of effort because then I feel like picking the camera up. I feel like as well, my skin at the moment, you can probably see, I have put a little bit of makeup on today, so you can't really see to the extent, but my skin is going through it. I feel like no matter what I'm doing with my skin at the moment, it's just hating me. I've tried healing my skin barrier. And to be fair, when I was doing that, my skin was at the best it's been in such a long time. So I think I might go back to what I was doing in that phase, which is basically stripping back my skincare routine to pretty much next to nothing. So not even washing my face with anything and using like the most gentle moisturizers and stuff like that which is painful for me because I love my skincare products, but I think I am maybe overdoing it again. I've just got like some breakouts, the chin area, and I've really scarred as well. So I think I need to look into some sort of, I don't know, I don't know. We're going on a tangent here, but yeah, let's just spend the day together. So yeah, hair's done. I need to pick out an outfit. I've got some bits coming from H&M, which I'm really excited about because I feel like... I wear the same things over and over again. I feel like I'm really bashing myself this morning. I don't mean to be bashing myself to this extent. I just feel like it's the new year. I'm trying to make little changes that are gonna make me feel a bit more positive and make me feel a bit more, a bit more, I don't know what the word is, motivated. Put a bit of a spring back in my step because I just feel a bit meh at the moment, so. We're doing things about it. We're being proactive. I feel like that's something I need to work on. Like when you feel a certain way, doing something about it to make yourself feel better because no one else can do that apart from you. I don't know why this is turning into like a TED talk. But yeah, let's get sorted and let's head out and get stuff done today. This is so random. My mum gave it to me the other day. I think it's one of her old ones or one of my old ones that someone maybe gave me and it is the nicest fragrance if you like a really sort of light and floral and really clean scent try this one out because it is unreal it's like me to a tea like i really don't like those sweet sickly perfumes that you get they sort of remind me of like nightclubs i don't know what the vibe is there but they remind me of nightclubs you know like the old britney spears perfume that's like the opposite of what i like so this is perfect for me it's like really light really delicate really floral i'm trying to get it to focus if anybody likes that type of perfume there we go give this one a try because i absolutely love it i've gone for just this little cropped cream jumper i think i picked this up from pretty little thing quite a while ago but it's really comfy and then i've just paired it with my black zara mum jeans i've actually ordered some skinny jeans from h&m i've just bit the bullet and done it because I just, I'm not vibing with the baggy jeans anymore, so I thought I'd mix it up. I think they're just like a straight skinny, so they're not like the spray ons, like the Joni Topshop jeans that we all used to absolutely love. They're like a straight skinny leg, so I'm curious to see how they fit me. And they're only like 25 quid, which I think is really reasonable because I've been buying, I've bought a couple of pairs of Levi's. I've just gone off them like I feel like they've not worn very well. Now they're really, really baggy on my legs and they just don't really suit me, so... I'm hoping that my £25 H&M ones fit, fingers crossed, and I feel like that's going to make dressing in things that aren't leggings and baggy jumpers a lot easier. Right, we have just arrived to one of my favourite retail parks ever. I feel like there's def different leagues of retail parks. You get like the ones with the B&Ms, the home bargains, that kind of vibe. And then you get the ones with like Next Home, TK Maxx. I feel like this conversation is really embarrassing but does anyone get my drift like i'll have different ones for different moods that i'm in i feel like i do this way too often but it's like my therapy so you're gonna nip into tk max first i think and have a look and see what like drawers and stuff they have for the bathroom there have a bit of a candle sniffing sesh obviously because we're running low on candles so we might grab a candle while we're in there as well i feel like this time of year is weird for candles because you're sort of like transitioning into like the spring fragrances but they're still like the wintry ones lurking around so i never know when to make that jump again this conversation what has happened to me <laughs>
loads of bathroom bits and I sort of envisioned something like this but I feel like this will look really messy with all my products in. They have got something like that which is more what I had in mind but I don't really like the brown fabric. They've got this unit which is really nice, that's £45 but it only has three drawers in it and I want something a bit bigger with more drawers in I think because this will just get messy and cluttered. They've got really nice towels in here. I really like these waffle bath sheets. I might have to get some of those. I really like these soap pumps, but ours are already black and they already mark so much, so I don't think I'm gonna get them, but I love the shape of them. They've got these matte black stands, which I think would be really nice to put like makeup or skincare on, but I feel like that's just gonna look cluttered in the bathroom, so I need to stick to the drawers, I think. Right, I've just finished up. I didn't have any luck in TK Maxx. Um, Matalan had a couple of things that I showed you but I wasn't really that keen on them and because a lot of them were fabric I didn't really think they'd be suitable for the bathroom because I can't really clean them properly and it just icks me out that thought so I think the plan now is I'm going to head to the range because I feel like they have quite good bits like that um it's annoying because the one in Matalan was like the perfect shape and size and it had the right amount of drawers and stuff but I just don't think it would have worked being fabric um, but yeah, I picked these up in TK Maxx, how random, I don't know if it can pick it up in this sunlight, but they are the cutest little, like, mini eggs, um, like, decor for Easter. I really want to make, like, a cute Eastery wreath for our front door. We've still got our Christmas wreath on the door, so I need to take that off, and I'm hoping to, like, make a cute little Easter wreath for myself. So I just saw these, and I could not resist. The colours are so cute. So yeah, came out for a bathroom set of drawers and came away with some little mini fake eggs. So just got back, slightly disappointing trip, but it's not biggie. I feel like I just need to not rush this little project. I feel like I always get an idea in my head and I'm such an impatient person that I literally want it done the same day. So I think I just need to hold my horses and get something that I'm really happy with. I did find a couple of bits in the range, but I wasn't like 100% happy with them and they were really expensive for what they are as well. Um, but I think we're planning like a little trip to Ikea in the next few weeks. So I think I'm gonna hold out until we go to Ikea because I feel like they'll have good like bathroom bits like that. Um, and I've got an idea in my head of what I want. So I don't want to settle for something that's not that, if that makes sense. But I have a tendency to just go for it and just buy things that I'm not 100% happy with. And then it just... It just, I just rush things and I need to stop doing that. So yeah, we're gonna hold off from the little bathroom organization. I didn't actually pick anything up today apart from those little mini Easter eggs that I'm gonna use for a wreath. So we'll be decorating for Easter soon, which is cute. Um, I thought I'd show you what I'm gonna have for lunch because I'm absolutely starving. And I've been loving making this in the week for my dinners, uh, for my lunch. I just said dinner. I'm turning into a northerner. Sam calls lunch, dinner and dinner tea. But for me, it's breakfast, lunch, dinner. But sometimes now I feel myself slipping up and I just called my lunch dinner, which is not okay. I need to like consciously make an effort to keep my southern words rather than adopting his northern slang. There was a point where he started calling lunch, no, yeah, he started calling tea dinner, so then he was saying dinner for both lunch and dinner, like an evening dinner, so it all got a bit confusing, but um, yeah, I can't believe I just slipped up on that, but anyway, I'm just going to chuck a chicken breast in the air fryer um, and whack some seasoning on it, and that will probably be in there for like 20 minutes. But what I've been absolutely loving making is like an open top chicken sandwich. So I like toast, I've got some really nice sourdough, um, I'll show you. I've got some really nice sourdough bread, I picked this one up from Waitrose, it's actually really nice, I think I'll buy it again. It's this brand, I can't pronounce that. Um, so I toast some of that and then I put like the shredded chicken on top 
with some cheese, some pesto and some rocket and like salt and pepper and it's really, really good. Um, so I either have it as like a proper closed sandwich or like an open top sandwich if I only want one bit of bread. And that has been so good. I've been really enjoying it. So that is my lunch all finished. I've got pesto, cheese, and then I grill it so it melts. And then I've put some rocket and some of the chicken on top. I find it so funny that the fact this video started with me blabbering on about how much I wanted to make an effort with my hair and my makeup and not be constantly in my comfies and in no makeup. And literally, at the first given opportunity, I've whacked my joggers on and I am now taking my makeup off. But we done our bit today. We got out, we put some makeup on, we we made a bit of an effort. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna take my makeup off now and I thought we could do that together because I've been using some products that I've absolutely been loving and they have helped my skin, even though obviously I'm, as I mentioned earlier, I am um, breaking out a bit in some areas, but I thought I'd show you what I'm using at the moment. So yeah, to take my makeup off, if I've put any on, I do like to double cleanse. So I start off with the Inky List Oat Cleansing Balm. This is like a really thick, Balm. so i just put a little bit on my hands and then i just use this to like melt the makeup off my face and it feels amazing when you're using it it just literally just melts everything off of your face and it leaves your skin feeling so clean and fresh and soft it's so nice so yeah i just rub in circles like this to just remove everything off and then when you use like an oil based balm or oil cleanser you're meant to like emulsify it as you take it off so that you don't leave behind any of the oil so i just get some more water on my fingers i don't wet my face yet i just as i say i think it's called emulsify i think you emulsify it off just wait for that to go hot so yeah, I literally just wet my hands like that, shake off the excess, and then give it a good scrub. And then I like to take one of these like really soft microfiber cloths. I actually picked these ones up from Home Bargains for like three pounds for a pack of five, and I just get some warm water on there, and then. Give it a wipe off. So nice on your skin. Oh, you can actually use these makeup cloth just with water, but I found that I was like damaging my skin from doing that because I was scrubbing them way too hard. I just dry my face. And I go in with another oil cleanser. I don't know if this is the greatest for my skin, to be honest. I don't know if that's what's breaking me out. It probably is. But because I had such a damaged skin barrier, I wanted to use something really, really gentle and like nourishing. So I've been using this pie oil cleanser. And I have been loving it. It smells amazing, but it's like really gentle on your skin. So this is what I use on days where I haven't put makeup on and i'll just use that on its own instead of double cleansing with the inculus so i only use the inculus to oat cleansing balm when i've had makeup on oh that feels so much better but yeah that is my skin all nice and fresh i think i'm gonna grab a shower now actually and maybe get into some pjs because i finished up work for the day now so it's chill time i think i've got some love island to catch up on which is really exciting but yeah thank you so much for watching this little spend the day with me i hope you enjoyed it make sure you are subscribed if you did and hopefully i will see you in my next video